Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for October the 29th of 2020. Well, it is titled the ghoul of IC 2118. So what do we see here? Well, this is an example of a dusty area of the sky in the constellation of Orion. And it is what is known as a reflection nebula. Now we can see various different types of nebulae. A reflection nebula is caused when the light from a hot star is reflected off of dust grains. So essentially what we're seeing here is a very dusty area of the sky, but not overly dense where the light completely blocks out the light from the stars behind it. Here we can still see stars through it and the dust grains are then reflecting the light from the stars. Now it'll have a bluish tinge to it because the star that is that is uh, causing this is actually a relatively blue star and is a well known star known as Rigel. Now Rigel is not visible in this image, it would be off to the upper left hand side. But it's light, it is a very hot blue star. And therefore much of its light is in the blue and violet portion of the spectrum. And that means that when the dust is reflected, the dust is very good at scattering the blue light shorter wavelengths get scattered much better than longer wavelengths. So the short wavelengths get scattered by the dust in the nebula and come from all directions. And therefore we see it with the bluish tinge, very similar to the reason that we see the sky as blue, whereas molecules in the atmosphere are scattering the blue light so that they come from all directions. So as you watch a sunset as the sun gets lower and lower in the sky, it's come passing through more atmosphere. And therefore it tends to look redder. So the blues and the greens, the shorter wavelengths keep getting scattered out. And by the time the sun reaches the horizon, the only colors getting through are the very deep reds. So if you ever when you watch a sunset, see how this progresses, as it will go from a yellowish to an orange to a red to a very deep red as it passes the horizon hits the horizon. And here we see the same kind of thing in the nebula of Orion. Now Orion has a lot of gas and dust in it because it is a region of star formation. So we see all of the uh, stars that form within Orion and this is part of that material uh, that is builds up and will for eventually could eventually form stars or is the material left over from star formation. So we can see these remnants of our star forming region in Orion. And in this case, it gives maybe the apparition of a Halloween ghoul uh, floating through the sky. So that was our picture of the day for October the 29th of 2020. It was titled the ghoul of IC 2118. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be fear and terror. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone and I will see you in class.